All right, adventurers, welcome back to All Play. We're here with more of the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke, and we're gonna explore Goldenrod City. It is a huge city. There's a lot of things that are going on in it, so we're gonna we're gonna take our time and explore a little bit before we get into any kind of uh, any other kind of troubles. Let's see. They got a, a a train track here, which means they have a train station. There's actually the train station right here. I imagine it it'll get you from here to there and there to here real quick. Um, let's see. There's also this area here to the right. Uh, let's let's explore. Let's explore. There's something over here. What is this? What is this? It's the bike shop. Okay, so let's head into the bike shop. Now, if you guys remember back in Fire Red, we tried to buy a bike. That thing cost one million dollars. We were skint broke. So, we couldn't afford it. Let's see if this guy's a little bit nicer. So, I opened a branch here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? Sure. Is it going to be free? Am I going to have to pay you to advertise for you? Really? Great. Give me your name and phone number, and I'll loan you a bike. All right, cool. That's all it takes. That's all it takes in a Johto. That's all it takes, giving people your phone number, and they'll do whatever for you. Because so far, we got a free Pokemon. We got an egg, which has to a Pokemon. And now we're getting a bike. And all of that just cost my phone number to three people. I'm here for it. All right. So we got a bike. The main shop is at Cerulean back in Kanto. Ah, so this is this guy owns the shop that's also in Cerulean City in Kanto. Say hello to the shop manager if you happen to go there. Our bicycles are first rate. You can ride them in Kanto too. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. All right. What else is there over here? What what building is this? Let's talk to these people. Let's just barge in these people's house and then talk to them. When I use an item on my Pokemon, it acts really glad. That's pretty cool. If you treat your Pokemon nicely, they will love you in return. Oh, let me see your Pokemon. It's friendly towards you. It looks sort of happy. You better. Perry seems to want to play. He wants to play still, so we're going to go play for a little bit, all right? We'll play in a little bit, I should say. I keep losing in battles, and my Pokemon end up fading. Maybe that's why my Pokemon don't like me much. It could be. It could be. That could be why they, they don't like you. You keep letting them lose. I'd hate you too, family. I'd hate you too. All right, so what's on this side of the city? Oh, they got a tent. Oh, they got a tent in another building. What is this? Watch out. Get off your bike in the tunnel. Oh, so it's an underground tunnel. We can explore into that in a little bit. What is this tent? What is this tent? Let's go in here. Hello, hello, I am the official name raider. The name raider has like a fortune teller tent? Want me to rate the nicknames of your Pokemon? No. Uh, no. Don't you judge how I've named my team. The scavenger and Perry and Tooth. Don't you judge them. This is the gym. This is the Pokemon gym. Let's run in this building before we go in the gym. It's got a flower on it. So this is a flower shop. It's a flower shop, all right. Apparently, there's an odd tree on Route 36. They say it dances when you water it. Oh, of course not. This is a flower shop, so we do have watering cans and things like that. But I cannot let you have one. It is too dangerous. Hmm. Well, maybe if you manage to defeat the Goldenrod Gym Leader, it might be okay. <sighs> Fetch quest. Okay, so we need to get the watering can to water the tree to see it dance. But the only way she's going to let us get one, you know, we can't buy it. She's not going to let us buy it. She'll just give it to us. Hey, maybe if we give her our phone number, she'll give us the damn watering can. No, we have to beat the gym leader of the Goldenrod City Gym. This right here. We're not going to come here just yet. We're going to explore around for a little bit. We're going to explore all we can, train up a little bit, and then we'll go to the Goldenrod Gym. Excuse me, kid. I received this letter the other day from a friend of mine. Here's the reply that I wrote. I am stuck here and was wondering if you could deliver it. He's on Route 31. Can you help a guy out? First off, first off, you don't know me from Adam. You have no idea what I'll do with this letter, all right? I might just take this letter and throw it away. But I'm a nice guy. 
I'm a nice dude with some nice, nice, what is it, nice? I'm a nice dude with some nice dreams. I think it's that. I think that's the line. Put the, put the line in the comment section below. <laughs> I'll help you out. I'll help you out. Huh? Your party is full. Oh, he was going to give us a Pokemon. I'll surely help you out. I may not look it, but I'm pretty good at mechanics. Do you want to know how to listen to the radio? Sure, because no one told us how to listen to the radio. Nobody. You open your Pokey and you press the radio button. Then you see the screen for tuning in the signal. The middle of the screen is the radio reception map. You can move the blinking mark on the map around to tune in to different radio shows. For those who think this is a pain, there are four channels, two on each side for easy tuning. All right, let's take a listen. Let's take a listen to what's on the radio today. It's Thursday today. What's on the radio on Thursday? It's nice and bubbly music. Hey, that's that's actually, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. I should make that my ringtone. Uh, but we can't hear or read. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's changing. We need to get a better tune. We do that by moving, moving on the, uh... What's it called? Moving on the the on the on the, the radio reception thing. How'd I get a good tune? I can't I can't find a good tune for it. Uh where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh I'm losing it. I'm picking up someone else's stupid show. Where is it? Where is it? Where's a good tune? Uh I can't find it. I can't find it. Let's see if we can find it using these shortcuts. There it is! Oh he found it! All right, what are they talking about? Tune in next time for the exciting conclusion of the special program, Solving the Unknown Puzzle. Oh, so it's a, um, it's, a, it's a show that was written. The Variety Channel, that's a treasure trove of laughter and tears. Come on, come on. Welcome. Welcome to the Wi-Fi Plaza where everyone meets. Play games with others in the Wi-Fi Plaza. The, the Wi-Fi Plaza. All right, let's, uh. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, Pokemon Talk. We're reaching out to all you Pokemon fans out there. Here's the leading expert on Pokemon, Professor Oak, and of course, myself, Mary. My cargo might be seen around Dragon's Den. My cargo. Whether you've seen them above or below, you'll think that's one typical Pokemon. Persian may be seen around Mount Silver Cave. Persian! They, uh, is that what they do on this show? They just say, you can find this one here. That's why I never... <laughs> What is this? Let's listen to something else. Pokemon music. It's DJ Ben. Uh, on Thursday, what is he playing? Time to put your Pokemon to sleep with the soothing Pokemon lullaby. It's pretty calming. It's pretty calming. What else we got? Hey, it's my song. Announcing the top three of Violet City. Number three is the Ark Bridge. This bridge extends over the river, running through the town, and is so round it reminds the residents of a drum. Moving on, number two is the Stylish Pokemon Center. This Pokemon Center is painted in natural colors so as to blend in with the beautiful serenity around it rather than standing out. Very stylish. And the number one thing is Sprout Tower. Sprout Tower is always slowly swaying back and forth, and it's the place where trainers practice if they are aiming for the top. It's strict, which is why it's popular, and that's why it's our splendid number one. You know what I think would be pretty cool? We're not going to listen to it. Hang on. Change, change to this song. I, like, I want to hear this song, number one. Uh, but you know it would be pretty cool? I think it would be pretty cool at least for me to do. I don't know, I don't know if it would be an interesting video. But listening to the radio throughout the week and just doing like voiceovers for who all's on, I think that would be pretty dope. I might do that in my spare time. I might find a, a spare moment to do it. We were heading north. Let's continue heading north. <sighs> Let's head north. I think I, think I might do that by, in my downtime. All right. Here we go. We got a, we got a thing. We got a battle. No, we don't. We'll fight you anyways. We'll fight you anyways, man. Come on. Are you going to the gym? Me too. Not if I'm heading that way. If I'm going that way and then that way, I'm not heading to the gym that's that way, you know? A balance round. She has a balance round. All right, Perry. Ooh, no, we're keeping Perry out. Keeping Perry out there. Perry, give him the business with the peck, please. Uh-oh. Poison powder. No good. It's no good. Good job, Perry. Show her Bell Sprout who means business. That was it? That's all she had? Man, we could have skipped that battle. 
We can just get that battle. Let's put someone else up front so someone else uh, gains some levels. So experience, I should say. Scavenger, you got this family. Scavenger, otherwise known as the business. Oh, a double battle. Let's put let's put Perry back in front. <laughs> and then I'll put Scavenger in second place. Alright. Here we go. Double battle. I love double battles. Oh, it's not a double battle. Because we separated them. I'm a clown. I'm gonna show my girlfriend I'm hot stuff. It'll be okay. There'll be many opportunities for a double battle. You're challenged by Camper Elliot. Abra. Remember, the only move Abra knows is teleport, and it doesn't work in trainer battles. So we're going to switch to, uh, let's switch to Starla. Let's let Starla shine today. All right. All right. Here's a sweet kiss. You can get confused, right? Good work. Good work. All right, so now there's a chance that teleport will make it hurt itself. Here's the magical leaf. Nope, nothing doing. Yeah. Don't worry, Starla. Got him into the yellow. Got him into the yellow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Good job, Starla. He's got a Meryl. Camper Elliot has a Meryl. We'll keep a star. We'll keep it. We'll, we'll keep it. We'll, we'll keep Starla out. Come on. Catch him with a sweet kiss. He's got tail whip. That's not good. Come on. All right. Here's a leaf. Hold these magical leaves for me, family. Lamb. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Almost there. Almost in one shot, Starla. Proud of you. Yep. There it is, folks. Starla is a beast. Starla is a beast. Good work. All the experiences for you, my little girl. All right. So since it's not going to be a double battle, what we're going to do is we're going to go around. Ah. 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 It locked us into another battle. I've been getting Pokemon daily off my radio. I think I'm good. That's not how it works. Listen, ladies and gentlemen. Don't listen to the radio and think you're going to be better. That's not how it works. Camper Ivan's been to get the business. He's got a Starly. He's got a Starly. And now it's going to get hit with a Metal Claw. Yep. All the way. All the way down. A uh, hop hip. Hop hip. Um, we know Peck. We know Peck, but do we want to do Peck? It's grass and flying. How about we send out Viper? How about we send Viper out? Yeah. yeah. Alright, Vipe. That intimidate. Uh, here's this thing for your soul. Stun spore. No good. I should have glared. Why didn't I glare? Ugh, I'm a clown. I'm a clown. That's, I'm a clown. Alright, we're paralyzed. She beat us to it. Here we go. Come on. Good work. Proud of you. Yep. All the experiences for you. It's another Meryl. Hey, uh, Starla, how you feeling? You want to get onto the battlefield, buddy? How you feeling about that? All right, let's catch him with another lovely magical leaf. A water gun. Good. Starla's actually pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy about Starla, you know? One shot. Good work. Good work. Proud of 10 snaps and claps today. I give up. 
Don't listen to the radio thing. You're going to be amazed. Lyra, what do you want? What do you? This better not be about your stupid Meryl. Hello, this is Lyra. How are you? Hey, have you heard about Pokemon Pokeathlon? When Pokemon go to Pokeathlon, they get so excited. I think I'll take my Pokemon there sometime too. Pokeathlon is one of the fun mini games you can do in uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I'm not going to do it. Not in the main game, at least. If I do, it'll be a side episode. I'm not going to count it as a daily upload uh, because it's, it, it's not furthering this Nuzlocke journey. Whether I do it or not does not change how Nuzlocke, how the Nuzlocke playthrough goes. So we're going to heal up. We're going to heal up. There was somewhere I was supposed to go, wasn't it? I, 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 I hope I didn't waste the episode. We, we did explore Goldenrod in the area north of Goldenrod. I just hope I didn't end up wasting this episode. Let's see. There was a little bit more north of Goldenrod that we didn't check out yet. And we can actually check that out. We'll check it out. Um, I just realized that area north of Goldenrod won't work. I don't think it'll work the way... <laughs> I don't think it'll work the way I'm expecting it to. What's north of Goldenrod is a special area where special events happen three days out of the week. If I'm not mistaken, it's Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. That special event is a bug catching contest. You get to compete with others in catching bugs. Not other real people, but NPCs. And catching the different bugs that are available in this area. Please don't turn Turn back, turn back, turn back, turn back, turn back. Fine. Oh, great. Another battle. Okay, so past this man in the fire breather behind him should be uh, the bug catching area. Hold on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Why does this man have a level 2 Pokemon? Why is this man here? After two gems. And after the third one, by technicality, have a level 2 Pokemon. Is he trying to lose? Here's a Voltor. We need to switch. Is he trying to lose? Does he not want this W? Uh, how about we, we, uh, we put in Scavenger, a.k.a. the business. So weird. A level two thing, and this is level fourteen. This is where it should be. Hyper Fang. Good work. Yeah. Yo. Let's go for another Hyper Fang. Uh oh, here's a spark. Another Fang. Yep, that's it. Oh, Scavenger, you're so close. Uh, Machop. I'm going to keep Scavenger in for now and then switch him out. Machop looks pretty dope in Gen 4. It took four generations for them to make his fight look normal. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Low kick. Glad I got Rattata out of there. Why is it level 6? Why is this thing level 6? Why is your team so poorly raised? Why is your team... So, did you just catch this team? Is that what is that what the juggler is trying to tell us? He just caught this team. Vibrava, Brava, Vibrava is ground and dragon. I don't think we have any ice type attacks. No, we don't. I think I gotta keep a. Uh, I think I gotta keep Perry in. I was gonna switch to Scavenger, so we can get another level. But I think I gotta keep keep a. Uh, keep Perry in. Try Metal Claw. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom is 20, right? Yes. Sonic Boom always deals 20. Here's a water, uh, bubble beam. Hold these bubbles for me. Good work. Good work. All right. All right. All right. So let's see if we can. I think that's a good place to end it. We won't end on after these battles. Oh, he wants our phone number. Huh? You're the one who saved all the slowpoke? Well, no wonder I couldn't beat you. Would it be okay to get your number? I don't want to miss anything you do from now on. He's going to call us endlessly like everybody else. He's going to call us and not tell us anything we need to know, just like everybody else. 
Now I can call you anytime, whether anything's up or not. See, he even said it. He's not going to call us for nothing. He's just like everybody else. Hi, how you doing? I don't have nothing important to say. I just wanted to talk to you. Bye. I ain't mean to get mad there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm working through a lot of real life stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's get this battle done, and then we'll go check out the, the bug catching area. And then we'll, we'll call it a day. It's hot. I'm tired. Electrify. Excuse me. Excuse me. This game is broken. We should not be seeking Electivire right now. We got to switch out. Sad part is we don't have anybody to switch to, really. Scavenger, I hope you got this, fam. I hope you can handle this scavenger. Quick attack. It did nine. That's a big quick attack. Here's a hyperfang for your soul. Come on. All right, almost. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Switching out. Switch it out. This thing has to have an electric attack. He, he's just baiting me. He's trying to trick me. He knows I got a water type. He knows I led with the water type. He's just trying to bait me. Quick attack. No, guess not. All right, here's this thing. Mm. Come on. Mm. Low kick. I guess it's good we got Rattata out of there. One more sting for your soul. Thundershock. I knew it. I knew it. I ain't a clown. All right. That's dope. He's out of here. Barry gained some uh, experience. Scavenger gained a level. Viper. And then Roserade. What is this team? Why are we facing this team this early? Here's a here's a poison sting. I want you to hold this poison sting for me, please. Come on, Vipes. Come on, Vipes. Ugh, it's not doing. I'm so scared. I can't switch back to uh I can't switch back to Perry because Roserade is very clearly grass type. You missed? You missed, Viper? Excuse me? Pardon me. There we go. That's better. That's better. Now you know what you're doing. Now you know what you're doing. Here's a... Uh, can we bite it? Let's bite it. Because somehow Poison Sting didn't do as much as I thought it would. I didn't think Rosary was part Poison. Yes, the flinch. Good work. Proud of you, Vipes. Proud of you, Vipes. Alright, now everybody's out of our way, right? We can go do the bug catching thing, right? Vibe to level 18. Ow, I scored the tip of my nose. Don't, I don't want your phone number. I don't want your phone number. I don't want your phone number. Oh, God, he wants my phone number. Fine. Fine. Just everybody waste our time. Everybody waste our time. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I hate everybody. I hate everybody. Okay, so this is the gate that leads to the the butt catching area we can go through and do the butt catching contest or we can go through another butt catching contest we're actually going to do it today today is thursday that means the butt catching contest is on today the rules are simple using one of your pokemon catch a bug type pokemon to be judged would you like to give it a try now it should all be bug types in here normally it's all bug types and they'll judge our bug types but if we don't have a bug type that we run into Following our Nuzlocke rules, it has to be the first one. If we don't run into one, we're SOL. We'll be SOL. So, yeah, okay, we'll give it a try. Uh-oh, you have more than one Pokemon. You have to use Perry, the first Pokemon in your party. Is that okay with you? I actually think Perry's not too overleveled for this. So, we're going to go ahead with Perry. Hey, that bug catcher contest music. All right, so it's just us and Perry, and they give us special balls for the contest. If we do catch it, we get it by we get the Pokemon in a normal ball. But they give us special balls for this contest. When we run out of balls, it's over. When we run out of time, it's over. We got 20 minutes and 20 balls. All right, so here we go. 
We'll do this. We're not going to spend all 20 minutes. We're just going to see whatever we find first, and then that's going to be our catch. Because remember, Nuzlocke rules. All right, so what is this? Please be a bug. Please be a bug. It's a Butterfree! Yo, we can get a Butterfree on the team? That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. All right. Uh, please don't kill it. Perry. Perry? Perry, if you care about my sanity, you're not going to kill this Butterfree. Please. Okay, Pound's not going to do. Oh, Jesus, Perry might die. Perry might die on a fun day. That makes me sad. All right, we got it. We got it. Uh oh, I hit the wrong button completely. Okay, didn't mean for that to happen at all. Confusion. Perry, please don't die. I'm gonna be so sad. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't use items at all. Oh sh. Oh no. Okay, Perry. Here's the deal. Let me take these headphones off so I can focus. Here's the deal, Perry. Confusion didn't do that much. And then there was a poison. Actually, I don't think I can. I don't think I can let it go. Perry, we gotta do this. We wasted an encounter. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. We wasted an encounter. The, com the combination of its confusion and the poison damage. Oh, sh I really hope I can heal Perry when we get out of this battle. We're going to run. We're going to run. I don't know if I can use items or not. I can't use items. Yo. Now I'm really sad. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In the contest. I need you to end this contest. Yes, we have to end this contest. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Finish the contest. We we lose. We lose the contest. That's okay. We can lose this contest. I cannot lose Perry. I cannot lose Perry. It's all right. It's all right. I, I can't. I'm sorry. That's how things are going to go today, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so they picked the winners. Third place is Barry, who caught a B-drill. Good job, Barry. Second place is Dawn, who caught a pincer. If the, if the winner caught a Caterpie or a Weedle, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be mad. The winner is Ed, who caught a pincer. Okay. Yo, I did all the maths. I did all the maths so quickly. There was no way... There was no way we would be able to catch that Butterfree and keep uh and keep Perry on the team. I had to I had to lose the contest. But everyone else gets a shed shell. Cool. Cool. I love shed shell. What the hell is a shed shell? I've never heard of that item in my life. Ever. Alright. So we need to we need to get rid of the poison on uh Perry. We will do that immediately. Defend order. That's 12? That was TO number 12? Alright, fine. Uh, where is it? Antidote. <sighs> y'all. I don't think y'all understand how big a headache I have. I guess this is a great time to end the episode. <laughs> it's a great time to end it. We're gonna go back to Goldenrod City. And we'll... we'll sit. It doesn't seem like there's too much else to do in Goldenrod. Y'all in these battles. It doesn't seem like there's too much else to do in Goldenrod City. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll wrap it up at the Pokemon Center. We're going to go ahead and heal, okay? That'll be what we do. We'll call it a day there. Perry. Perry, I want you to know. You, you said you wanted to go play. That's what happens when we go play. We went to play. You remember? You remember. You asked twice. You wanted to go play. We're not going to play no more. How you feel? He's relaxing. We got one of those Pokemon. <laughs> We're going back. We're going all the way back to the Pokemon Center. All right, guys. As I said, we're going to wrap it up there. If you enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Soul Silver Nose Lock, I would love to see more. And all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. 
as that subscribe button. And I'll do my best to make sure you guys can see more episodes of Pokemon Soul Silver, more challenges like Nuzlocke, as well as everything else that All Play has to offer. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on All Play. We didn't, we didn't add anybody to the team today, but that's okay because we kept the additions that we had. And that's all I can ask for, really. <laughs>